I'm digging through my notes. I've been keeping these notes for like, shit, about 25 years and shit. By all this biblical shit, historical shit. Mm -mm. But, you know, it's just, you're going to get this from the ancient Egyptian or high priest of Amon Ra, temple of Amon Ra. You know, at the Sinai. And we probably got a Sinai Baptist church. Mm -mm. The children that come out of the land of Egypt. Mm -mm. We live here in Alameda Plaza, Texas. Mm -mm. Outside the white man's city, Sam Houston, Texas. Mm -mm. I'm going to give you the information from the great house that you are, from the Lord your God, from the land of Egypt. Mm -mm. The great sphinx from the, the teacher of righteousness. Mm -mm. And the gods of the Egyptians, how they really looked on the statues and their memorials as we head to Memorial Day. So I'm giving you the information that came from the Valley of the Kings. These biblical people and these historical people are linked together according to history. Finding all these artifacts coming out this land out that little mountain right there, mm. the Valley of the Kings right there, mm. around about the same time mm. of those stories in the Bible. We were talking about the book of Joshua, okay? It's right there in the Valley of the Kings. Those people that lay interred in that mountain right there, mm. you shouldn't remove their memorials mm. and take them out of their place. You should leave them where they were. And maybe if you want to learn anything about them, you go there where they are interred that and look at the wall. Mm -mm. The writings on the wall. You look at the writings on the wall. Mm -mm. Where that person was laid to rest at and then you keep that place intact. Mm -mm. That's what I'm mad about with all of these antiquity departments mm -mm. from Europe somewhere in the north. Mm. That's what I am upset about. Mm. So I search through and dig for my history. Mm -mm. That's what I'm always upset about on Memorial Day. Mm. How they removed our ancestors' memorials out of their places. Mm -mm. And have all of the things that we see on TV trying to teach us about the Bible and history. How they have changed the appearance of all of the historical people of those books. Mm -hmm. That's what I be upset about all the time. Mm -hmm. I think these are the notes I'm looking for right here. Mm -hmm. I had it all mapped out and pinpointed mm -hmm. all the days of my life mm -hmm. for 25 years. Mm -hmm. I didn't throw these notes away. Mm -hmm. Trying to take them to the big screen and... Mm -hmm. Be edified, everything that Hollywood is misconstrued. Mm -mm. The book of Joshua in the canon has another book to it that you were made, didn't know exists called the book of Joshua. It's in English, printed in 1775 by the same people who are on the currency, mm -hmm. on the one dollar bill, looking out of the Great Pyramids in Egypt. Mm -hmm. They learned the knowledge of the Egyptians. They had possession of the great Sphinx in those years at the revolution of America. So, okay, I'm getting close to what I'm looking for. I have all of these things mapped out very well. I'm gonna just read all my notes as soon as I get to it. I'm getting close to it. All right. All right. The Trojan War in Greek myth compared to Aegeus. Aegeus and Aeneas, king of Africa, was called Aegeus in the book of Joshua. In the Greek Trojan War, they call him Aeneas. I have those years from 1769 B BC. 
but their BC date is 220 years different than mine. They would say 1549 BC. I would re-edit it and say a negative 1769E. Mm. I'm going to give you negative numbers the way I had to chronicle these things. So to the negative 1666, 1666E mm. for my uh, re-edited version of the same times that they chronicle in Europe, which will be 1446 BC, which is, they say, in their re-edited version from some Germans, archaeologists, i seen on the History Channel in the United States in America, they believe the date was 1446 for the Exodus. 1446 BC. I say the Exodus would have been 220 years previous 1666 e okay in the second intermediate period dynasty 13 at memphis and this is what they're called in the trojan war so at the time of the exodus the ruling house over the the the, the ruling family from over the great sphinx in the three pyramids would have been at memphis at amuru with the Canyonite, so the the Canyonites were the ones who were oppressing Israel because Israel had previously in the twelfth dynasty, the eleventh and the tenth and the ninth dynasty, since the time of Abraham in the Bible, they had been having wars with the children of Can Cana, who had settled in the lands in the in the northern quarters of the inheritance that the biblical Noah had sent to all his three sons which his temple was like found in Nippur Ur Babylon okay which is in Iraq somewhere okay the great pyramids are the biblical uh, Ham Sham Shem Ham and Jabeh okay I believe are the three pyramids builders mm -mm. And there's something in the bell cycle that's that is linked to the same story. Okay. It's just in the cuneiform script they tell the 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 bell cycle. The three lords, one ruled over the air, one ruled over the sea, and one ruled over the land. It's like the Greeks say, mm -mm. they're mythological gods. Mm -mm. The god of the sea is Neptune. Mm -mm. Or the, that's the Romans and the Greeks. Posted down to the Greeks, Neptune to the Romans. Mm. Is the same person who is the God in the Bible. I mean, the, the man of God in the Bible. In the Antediluvian uh, period in Genesis. Mm -mm, who built the great ark to save his people from the great flood. Okay, and the deluge myth. Mm, which goes right back to the boat builders in, in Egypt. Mm. The same stories, all those biblical stories that the white people teach in their, their new religions, the Spanish, the Greeks, the French, whatever, the Germans, and Jehovah's Witness people, and they, they got their little pamphlets and they give you this place to go to worship and believe in the things they printed in their publications. So sometimes they don't match the things that I know is on stone. The historical things in antiquity and how they look on the on the walls in Egypt or somewhere in Mexico or somewhere in Southeast Asia somewhere. And don't look the same in stone as it looks in this new world or this new publication religion. So I don't believe in this new religion and this new world order thing. I believe in the God of my ancestors. I am the Lord of your God from the land of Egypt. And I believe in that. Mm. The greater men. So, mm. so, okay, in the book of Joshua, was talking about Angeus and Lucas, Zepho, the son of Esau, mm. biblical Esau. They have stones and statues and memorials of these people and images on stone. 
maybe they left a, a statue or some type of wall relief or some type of thing on a temple mm. of in the essence and the nature of that person. That's a memorial. As we head into Memorial Day. So your ancient memorials. Okay. That's what I'm always upset about in this country. How they remove our landmarks. How they have sabotaged our things and removed them to Great Britain and the British Museum or into the Louvre, you know. That's what I've been upset about. Okay, in my notes, I have Joshua died. The biblical Joshua, he died 1599 BC mm. at 110 years old. So. Mm. And that's from chapter 88 in the book of Jasher. Mm. It tells me who was the king mm. of Egypt in those days in that same book. Mm. It mentions the name of Osiris as the first king of Egypt mm. in the land of Amaru. Mm. The Amorites mm. at Memphis. Mm. were the ones who were originally here in the lands westward past the Pillars of Hercules. Mm. And on all the things, by the time of King Seti, mm. and Ramesses the Great and King Seti the Second and all of those who made Amduat, they had already had been all over the world by way of the sea. Mm. It was the first pyramid in Egypt. Mm. It's just a, the first pyramid is for the boats, mm. and they got boat pits. Mm. Those were the only boats of those, that era that is still intact to this day. Mm. You don't have it in, in, in anywhere like Norway. Their boats are not that old. Anywhere in Europe, the boat builders were not as old as they were in the land of Egypt. Mm. So the god of the sea was an Egyptian god. Mm. Herodotus, the history talks about the people of Libya mm. in the West, in West Africa. They believed in the sea god, mm. the god of the sea. Mm. And the Egyptian religion or myth mm. is called Nun or Nunu, Nunu, chaotic waters of Nun, okay? He is Neptune to the Romans, posted down to the Greeks. So the sea god comes from the first pyramid in Egypt. Mm. The first pyramid in Egypt's is built is called Khufu. Mm. So Herodotus, the history says, the three pyramid builders were all brothers. Mm. Sometimes I look in the Britannica and the encyclopedia say Khufu was the father mm. of Kafara or Kepherin and Mycenaeus was his son, his grandson, okay? If that's true or not, I don't know because it was a 156 year period in between the three kings reigning. So if it's brothers or father and son or brothers, I, we would just have to leave that into our own minds to figure out mm, to it's totally defied as the truth what someone is saying. I'm trying to be that one. So. So my information says Joshua died 1599. They were saying in that little pamphlet I was reading, 1200s, the 1208, you know, and I didn't agree. So, well, that's what I have so far. Now, I say Joshua died 1599, be said 110 years. I'm just digging through my notes. Start talking about the book of Judges and all of those things. Let me look. Trying to get. Okay, this is what it says. Moses became king of Cush and given Adonia as queen. 157th year of Israel in Egypt, which is a negative 719e. Moses was 27 years old. And Jaius, king of Africa, dies six, negative 1697e. As Drubal, his son, begins to reign. In negative 1679 E, 40th year of Moses, 
reign in the kingdom of Kush.